Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Super Mario RPG. I'm Dave, and they call me Mono Joe. Off camera, I went ahead and bought some of the best armor in the game for, well, pretty much everyone on the team, except for Peach, because she's wearing armor that, defensively speaking, is better. And off offensively speaking, I couldn't care about her. Where did I buy it? Right in this room. Croco seems to have uh, found some found some better stuff on the, off of a coming off of a back of the truck that is well legendary equipment it costs like a hundred hundred gold a piece but uh, you know it is worth it it is better than the fire equipment so in fact the best equipment that you the best armor that you can buy the other armors that you can find um, unfortunately don't exactly have much in the way of um, you know newness to them and pretty much the only armor you can find are well lazy shells and um, the super suit that you could get for doing 30 super jumps, which I still have not done yet. And probably won't for a while. Huh, more chandeliers. Probably another boss fight. Geno's in good shape. Um, yeah, let's go for it. Let's go right to it. Hmm. Actually, come to think of it, I was wondering how we were supposed to get up to Smithy's and, to Smithy and uh, break that sword in half, but... Hmm. Ah, oh, you didn't think I could make it this far. You, do you know who I am, really? You guys really don't know... Well, you did come from another world. Ah, uh, so we're facing some kind of samurai guy who is named... Boomer. Boomer, the samurai. Doesn't work for me. You'd think they would have, like, a, kata a katana pun or something. Eh, whatever. He's, uh... He has two states that he'll switch between regularly. His red state is uh, more magic focus, has higher physical defense, uh, lower magic... Higher physical defense and magic offense, but lower physical attack and and magic defense. His blue state has higher physical attack and and magic defense, but lower physical defense and magic attack. So uh, they're, they're, he'll switch between the two of them regularly, and won't be like he gets one point and switches to blue and then switches back. If you let the battle run run long enough, he'll switch between them pretty haphazardly. So, obviously, but right for right now, we're just gonna go ahead with uh, our basics, basic strategy, Gino boost everybody, get uh, physical attacks from Mario, um, Peach heals, it's, you know, the usual, usual status quo. Although it doesn't seem like I'm actually bothering with the uh, healing. Go full out anyway, you'll automatically heal to full against, uh, after this fight, like, so that because, you know, they're smart, they realize that there's going to be a bigger boss fight after this, so so they're going to want to make sure that you're at top top shape for uh, that bigger boss fight. I don't think I even need to say it. He's in a title card, ladies and gentlemen. You know who I'm talking about. We're talking about the giant sword that's sticking out, the, this giant talking sword that's sticking out of this castle, and we're going to break that motherfucker down. Wow, 500 damage from a lazy shell. That's how you can tell this guy is, has very low physical attack, deep physical defense. But, that's it. And, hmm. Absurd? You keep using that word. It does not mean... I do not think it means what you think it means. Wait. You won't let this battle happen? What the hell? You are a samurai, I mean. He's committing seppuku! He's committing suicide! He's harikari! Do I even need to set Bell it out? <sighs> You're... Wow. Well, there's a reason I gave this one, this part to Sappy Music. Don't worry! Oh, of course, they try to rationalize it, that he didn't commit suicide, that he's, he's still alive. Don't worry. I mean, Bowser's taking falls worse than this, right? Right? And he's still alive, right? <sighs> I guess they figure they don't want to try it. I guess I figure, eh, as a kid's game, let's not try to drag too many heavy issues into this. I don't know, kids nowadays are, are smarter than they seem. It, I really think that's kind of um, illogical, an illogical point to take. But, um, yeah, the, bo the the lineup you go into with this boss is the lineup that you go into with the giant sword that's sticking out of the castle, so you are not going to get a chance to switch it around. If you go in with the... Uh, he may be... The... 
Giant Sword may be a better fight to go with the um, mass damage, but unfortunately, we're just gonna have to use Geno for that. Eh, Geno Flash is damn good. But, you know what? Of course, if we wanted to, we could have used Bowser Crush, and Bowser would have thankfully just gotten a level out of that one, so, eh, that's good enough for me. But right now, it's time to fight with Exor! Is that supposed to be a pun? Was there, like, an Arthurian legend, um, an evil version of Excalibur called Exor? I don't know. I'm not very familiar with Arthurian legend, to be honest. Although, uh, the... Although, I'm not gonna be doing too many Monty Python quotes, but, uh, fun fact, uh, one of the guys from Monty Python is actually an Ar Arthurian scholar, so... Most of that stuff, outside of any jokes they made, totally accurate. They, in fact, did launch cows with catapults. Well, diseased cows. Well, diseased and livestock of some sort. Anyway. Anyway, the whole point of this battle is that you have to take out one of the eyes to take out... Otherwise, uh, X, the hilt of the sword, Xor, is going to be completely invulnerable. So, for the most part, we're just going to be... You know, there's the usual routine of Gina boosting everyone, but we gotta take out one of the eyes if we're gonna, gonna take out the, the hilt. Honestly, I would take out both the eyes and the mouth, because the mouth has some really painful spells. Um, the mouth would probably be more important. I mean, you can go right to the hilt if you take out one eye, which is, you know, a perfectly reasonable way to do it if you just want to blitz through this, but um, I would probably try to take out the both eyes so that way you have as much time as possible to take out the hilt, and I would also take out the mouth. There's, it doesn't, taking out the mouth doesn't lower the shield, but that mouth does some really painful stuff, and as you can see there, the left eye has some painful status ailment attacks that they, it can throw at you. Thankfully, it, t thankfully Peach is wearing the safety ring, which makes her immune to all status ailments, and it's in death. Uh, so, for, so for the most part, we should be, uh, okay, I guess. But for the most part, have Mario use uh, the lazy shell to completely blitz the hilt, and uh, have have Gino use Gino Flash once you've boosted everyone. Have Gino use Gino Flash just to to knock out as much as possible, hit everything at once. Because you know why not? Might as well take out both eyes. And his protection's entirely gone. You only need to take out one eye to be able to do some damage, but if you take out both, I think that really lowers his defense. So if you want to try that, go feel free. So, I'm just going to use Maple Syrup here, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to take out that mouth, because all the firewalls and solidifies and water blasts are starting to get a little annoying. Maybe this Geno Flash will do it? Um, I have no idea. Let's watch. And he, his jaw is agape. That means he is gone. So let's go ahead and start smashing him in. Although I probably should have went for the eye on that one. Uh, oh well. Uh, still a couple more Geno flashes will, will probably be being harder as long as one of those eyes are open. So after all, if both eyes are open, then we are kind of um, gonna have to take one of them out in order to do any damage to the Exor itself. And well, hmm. Oh, I think. The both eyes have recovered. Great, great. So, it's time back to focus on the eyes. This will happen, ladies and gentlemen. That hilt has uh, quite a bit of HP. You're gonna need to take them all to blast, take out the eyes eventually. So, um, left eye would probably be my recommendation, but the, if you can one-shot the right eye, go for it. I mean, hell, hell, I was able to do that with the laser shell, and right now I'm quite laughing about it. Oh, Gino Boost is so good sometimes. And so is Gino Pla- Oh, and that's it! He is gone out of there! But apparently we're gonna get eaten by this white whale. So, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Until next time, I'm Dave. Remember to restrain yourself and be on the lookout for your white whale. Take care, everybody. Oh my god, how could this get any worse? Where are we going now? I have no idea. Yes, I do.